Hey everyone, welcome back to another place, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And in this video, we'll be exploring the, the floating catacombs, fighting another boss, and getting a new power of mist, which allows us to attack and mist form. And as you can tell, I do now have a new weapon. I, was, I did some farming off screen, and uh, let's show you what I picked up while I was away. Uh, I picked up the Masamune, it's a legendary Masamune katana, it's a two hander. Uh, the attack, as you see, is 104 which is pretty ridiculous, but it also lowers your defense by 30. Uh, that's one of the big downfalls to it. The other swords that I did pick up was the Rune Sword from the Dodo Bird. Uh, you find that at the inverted cave, uh, castle entrance. And the Masamune is from the, the Panthers in the Anti-Chapel. And I'll just show you what the Rune Sword does. Uh, that's you. It's a long range weapon. It doesn't have a, any special abilities like the quarter circle, but it does have that range that you can use that will save you some uh, HP without having to get close to certain enemies. I uh, also picked up the fire shield as well. Let me show you what that looks like. You pick these up from the fire demons. And it's their common drop. Their rare drop is the fire uh, armor. And with the shield rod. And now also while you're wearing this, you're uh, immune to fire damage. If you hit anything fire based, it just says guard. It doesn't uh, do any damage to you or knock you back. Uh, I also picked up the sword familiar. Uh, once he hits 50, he becomes an equipable item. Though when you have him equipped, you cannot have him as your pet. Because if, if say, uh, your current familiar is the sword familiar and you equipped, and you equipped it, uh, he'll go away. So you, you can't use him and have him fly around at the same time. Yeah, he's one of the strongest one-hander swords in the game, but he doesn't have any uh, quarter circle attack abilities. And this is actually one blade that a lot of uh, users on the, my videos, oh, so viewers, I'm sorry, uh, kept talking about was the Vorpal Blade. Uh, one of the big discussions was it, it's one of the good swords because all you have to do is hold down the attack button and it will it'll co continuously slice, and that's not the case. If you just hold it, it just doesn't do it. You have to constantly press the button for it to be effective. Uh, still a good weapon. It was actually the hardest weapon to farm, actually. It took me about three hours to farm this. I was <laughs> I was going to make a farming video, but in the end, I'm glad I didn't because that would have been a ridiculous video, editing that video. Uh, what else did I get? Uh, this little dagger was from the Lesser Demons. Get a little up, uppercut effect. Just one button press does that. I actually have two of them. <laughs> if you don't mind uh, Alucard shouting, <coughs> sorry. Uh, he's, this was actually what I used to uh, farm the Dodo Bird. I just walked into the room and double attacked. And I was able pretty much to plow through the, the weaker enemies at the cave in, at the castle entrance. It was, it was pretty pretty handy to have. And I think that's all that I picked up from there. Uh, the two accessories that I did pick up was uh, this one. This is from the Cave Trolls in the caverns. It's stronger than the Necklace of Jay because the Necklace of Jay is only a, a plus 5 to defense. This is plus 15. And the Heart Brooch is from the Dodo Bird as well and it reduces the heart consumption of your sub items. I think it reduces it by half. And just to get an example how long I farmed the Vorpal Blade in that same room is the tiny demons and their rare drop is this kingstone which you can see I have 18 of them. I was there for quite some time and I was just about to quit and then it finally dropped. And this then the blade here uh, its quarter circle attack is the is the little teleport but it also doubles its damage so when you do that teleport attack it does hit for about 200 ish. hasn't been pressed yet. Now here I'm just going to pick up another Power of Sire and just do some more map completion. Yeah, I'm hitting for about 104 now and if I do the teleport it should be about 200. That's just a critical. About 214. And I'm glad I picked up uh, one of these swords because uh, the boss coming up, he's the second hardest boss in the game but I, I still think he's the hardest. Uh, compared to Dracula. I think it's because he just has a ton of HP and it just, the fight just seems like a long fight. Even with these these powerful swords, I'm still probably going to be there like a minute or two fighting him. And 
thing to make this sword effective is the key is jump and use it because if you're walking and use it it stops you and right now I do have the holy water that's what you want to try to keep for the next boss fight because it's uh, everything everything's gonna hit him for about one or two maybe a little bit more I think the axe could hit him for like two or three more but the holy water is more efficient in every way because it only takes a few hearts to use and every damage that the heart does is one tick and I just, it's just gonna, you'll see what I mean in a little bit and there's the Alucard sword mother's family heirloom uh, nothing compared to the swords we have now uh, if you want to see what it does you can just go back to my first video because you started the game with it anyway and that doesn't uh, because the boss we're about to come up against it doesn't really do nothing special like the Masamune it does 104 by itself but the only reason it does it can only do a little bit more damage when you do the special attack uh, I'm just making sure this is the last yeah this is the last power of sire uh, you only get so many in the game just keep it just keep them till you get the duplicator I tend not to use the awesome one hand uh, the one-time use uh, uh, bombs in the game now we are in the floating catacombs you could actually get the what I think is the strongest uh, head piece in the game and I'll probably farm it off video again coming soon unless I really want to see me do it make a farming video just let me know in the comments uh, it's gonna be dropped off of the, the Salem witches around here I don't know what the, the exact name is but they're in a room around here somewhere they dropped the wizard hat you're a wizard Harry uh, <laughs> uh, it's uh, better than the, the dragon helm only thing it doesn't have that the Dragon Helm has is the uh, the strength, but the Wizard Hat that they do drop is uh, has better defense, adds to pretty much all your other stats as well. And these are the ones that drop them, and you can see why they're kind of annoying. And you have to kill they, after you get them down a certain uh, HP, they do turn into cats, and you have to kill the cat. And that's the ones that, that will drop us the, the hat or not. Something dropped. Not just the potion. Now if I remember right, I think I'm going to want to put those daggers on. This next area. I can't find them right now. Yeah, that's why. I thought so. I remember like there's like there's a couple of rooms like these where there's nothing but these guys. And that frozen half you want to kill her right away because you can't touch her because she'll it'll freeze you if you touch her like that but she also does a spell that that uh engulfs the whole room I'll show you I'll let her cast it and you gotta get the mist form to get away from it and she that does that continues for quite some time and you can't hurt her while she's doing that and the best you can do is just uh, go into mist form or go into another room before she cast it Oh, this is the necklace of Jay. This is the one of the original necklaces you start with, but it's just plus five, and we have now a plus fifteen necklace now. And we are near in the boss room, and like I said, he he's guarding the the power of mist, which turns you into gas cloud. 
and when, the, when you're misformed then you'll be able to attack enemies while in that form. And this is where he's at. Uh, make sure to equip the the circlet heals HP by lightning damage and if you want to uh, the lightning mail because he's mostly lightning based he still has an attack or two that does cause damage and that should be good to go you're looking for him to do one specific attack not that one this one hurts you for about 91 to 100 damage still right now that's the one you want him to do. And notice how the I have the constant uh, one HP going with uh, the holy water, and then I attack him with uh, the bigger sword while he's in that position. It's just annoying when he gets when he starts spamming this attack. This is the only one that can really hurt you. This one, and if you get too close to him, he will kick you to the wall. But uh, like he has another attack that shoots a wave of uh, electricity at you. You could actually jump into that one if you wanted to, and it would heal you. These, even though they're lightning damage that I see, they will still hurt you. And as you can tell, he has a ton of HP. If you wanted to, like I said, you could use the Alucard shield and shield rod combo. But like I said, that's just always been too cheap in my opinion. I'd like to have some strategy to it. I'm glad he's spamming this attack. It's letting me. And that should do it. Uh, the funny thing I do remember was uh, in the librarian where you could buy the tactics to bosses that you beat where they show you the proper way to, to defeat our boss or give you tips on how to defeat the boss by video. If you buy the video for this this boss, all it shows them is walking into the room, casting soul steel and using a shield rod with the skull shield. And it, at max he does like maybe three to four hundred points of damage and then the video ends. And it's like one of the most expensive videos too. It's like, <laughs> it's just like, was it good for you? <laughs> you got the ruby circlet and the gas cloud. Ruby circlet is against fire damage, restores HP by fire damage. And now with the gas cloud, you look like a kind of look like a toxic cloud. Uh, the damage is pretty weak, but hey, you're, now you're invincible and still could do damage. And then over here should be a diamond. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out, and I'll see y'all next time.